meteorologist George Lessons. Snow is coming, George. How much? <laughs> uh, certainly enough to shovel and plow, but again, that'll mm. all be Thursday evening into Friday afternoon. Let's take a look at a beautiful Wednesday here in West Michigan. Again, some filtered sunshine from time to time, but all the way around another great March day, early March day. Uh, some high clouds, snow melting temperatures once again. These clouds back to the west. These aren't the uh, snow showers we will see on Thursday evening, but it's all part of a bigger system coming out of the Rockies. You can see it moving out of Idaho. That will blossom into a large area of snow later on tonight and tomorrow. As far as the current advisories, none yet here for West Michigan. I'm betting on at least a winter weather advisory here being issued sometime in the next 12 hours. Right now we're in the 40s, but we'll drop into the 30s as that snow falls. That will be on Friday. 41 here in Grand Rapids, one of the cooler readings. 47 over here in Holland and in Muskegon, all the way down the lakeshore. We'll have a closer look at how much snow will fall. That's coming up a little bit later on. Another beautiful day here in West Michigan. Lots of sunshine filtered at times with some high clouds. Those are out ahead of the next weather system. That's going to bring us some snow. That will be in a little more than 24 hours from now. In the meantime, 13 weather ball is green. No change foreseen from our 40s. And this view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Skies will become cloudy tonight. Temperatures will drop down to around 30. Not quite as cold as it was this morning and only recover into the low 40s tomorrow because of the extensive cloud cover, but no precipitation during the daylight hours here tomorrow. Storm track still about where we've had it all week. It's going to be off to our south, heading up into western Pennsylvania by Friday night. This little batch of precipitation back to our weeks, not really reaching the ground, but it will blossom as some upper level energy runs into all of that moisture. Here it comes out of the Rockies. Throughout the night tonight, we'll just see an increase to our clouds and just cloudy skies. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. After about 8 or 9 o'clock tomorrow evening, though, going to be snowing, snowing very steadily over all of West Michigan, all the way through your morning commute. Morning commute on Friday is going to be a little tough to get around through at least the lunch hour, and then it will quickly come to an end. So not snowing at the end of the day. And on Saturday, we'll actually see some sunshine to start our day before some high clouds come in later on in the day. Might be a couple of flurries during the day on Sunday. So everybody's asking, are we going to miss this storm? Well, not likely because most of lower and even parts of upper Michigan are going to see a good deal of snow. This is 11 o'clock tomorrow night, already snowing. We've only had a tenth of an inch by then, but by daybreak, there'll be almost four and a half inches. So steadily snowing all night long. You'll wake up to four plus inches and a couple of more inches during the day on Friday, all told anywhere from three plus to six plus inches across all of lower Michigan. We are not going to miss out on this one. There will be no sharp back edge. We'll talk about that. As far as the long range outlook from the 14th through the 18th, yeah, colder than average temperatures, high probability of that, and still a slightly higher chance we could have near or less precipitation during that five day period. For tonight, though, it'll become cloudy. Temperatures right around 29 to 30, a little bit warmer than this morning, a mid to upper 20s up north with a light northeast wind. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, we'll see uh, overnight lows right around 27 to 28. 13 on your side forecast. Impact day on Friday and then virtually dry over the weekend. A few flurries Sunday, maybe Monday as well. No impacts there, but colder than average temperatures. And look at the weather next week. Lots of sunshine all the way through the following Saturday with gradually warming temperatures back to seasonable highs in the low 40s by St. Patrick's Day. George just looked out the window. This is such a pretty time of day. The sun giving off that golden hue. The light behind you looks so pretty with the blue sky. Oh, you you should write poetry. I'm or being art. I know I'm being an artist right now. <laughs> oh, it is it is just another wonderful March day, but you know we still have some winter weather we've got to get through. Not during the day tomorrow, but tomorrow night into Friday. 13 weather ball though during the day tomorrow is still green. No change foreseen with readings in the 40s once again. And this view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. I particularly like uh, Nelson. My son has Roger. Nice, a French bulldog there. I think it's Charla or Carla, but Nelson's looking good. He likes the sun just like we all do. Give you a green paw for Nelson to head out for a walk. It'll drop from the 40s into the 30s. Cool start to the day, but a green paw for your evening and morning walk there, Nelson. 
5.1 out of a 10 point scale tomorrow. Just some high clouds around throughout the day, so not as much sunshine as our 8.9 today. Winds about the same. It'll get breezy though tomorrow night through early on Friday. Storm track still taking the storm to our south, so that means we're going to be on the cold and snowy side by Friday night. It'll be into western PA. What you're seeing on the radar here, not reaching the ground, but eventually that will all fill in as the energy comes out of the Rockies across the upper Midwest. And you can see that snow is just racing into Wisconsin by 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Nothing going on here tomorrow throughout the day. But that snow will begin around 8 o'clock at the lakeshore and 10 o'clock in Grand Rapids. And this is 7 o'clock in the morning on Friday. So snow everywhere. There's no sharp back edge to this one. So everyone will see almost comparable amounts of snow. And it'll all quickly come to an end between about 2 and 4 o'clock in the afternoon on Friday, all the way to the east of us by Friday evening. And then it will clear out late Friday night through Saturday morning. So we'll start the day. And then the next weather system may get a couple of flurries here on Sunday and into Monday as well. No impacts with that. Again, a dry day here tomorrow. Uh, the snow will really start to accumulate over in Wisconsin during the afternoon tomorrow. We're looking at two to four inches there. Our snow starting at about eight o'clock and by seven o'clock in the morning, there could be two to four plus inches already on the ground. So the Friday morning commute is going to be a little bit tough. And then another inch or two as we go through the day on Friday, and then that'll be pretty much it. So an impactful day especially for your morning commute. Long range outlook from March 16th through the 22nd. Large part of the country, including West Michigan, will still have cooler than average temperatures. Equal chance for more or less precipitation. You'll see in the 10 day forecast, it is going to be virtually dry. Tonight's skies will become cloudy, upper 20s to near 30 at the lakeshore, northern part of our viewing area, mid and upper 20s, light northeast winds as skies become overcast. Just past full moon, though, later on this evening, upper 20s here in the greater Grand Rapids area, up into the 40s, though, again tomorrow. 13 on your side forecast. Higher impact day on a Friday and then just above freezing Saturday and Sunday as we start to shovel. Not a lot of that melting very quickly. A few flurries Sunday and Monday. Still cooler than average temperatures until about St. Patrick's Day or so, but lots of sunshine Tuesday through the following Saturday. Another beautiful day here in West Michigan for the month of March. We had 100% of the possible sunshine yesterday and we had nearly as much despite some high clouds today. It was also a great start to the day. Linda shared this a sunrise picture from over in Holland. A lot of high clouds around throughout the day. They'll be thickening up later on tonight. 13 weather ball is green. No change for seen from the 40s and dry on Thursday, at least during the daylight hours. And this view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Temperatures low in mid 40s, even upper 40s along the lake shore. Last year we were 37, 44 today. Feeling good and it matched our forecast high, a bullseye. Three days in a row where we've been within three degrees of our forecast a high. Still, we're tracking a storm system coming out of the Rockies. The low itself is going to be well to our south and it's going to move into western Pennsylvania by uh, Friday night. We're going to be on the cold side of this, so it'll be all snow in our direction. Lots of clouds are thickening up throughout the night tonight. During the day tomorrow, though, this is 7 a.m. Just cloudy skies across the region. East winds will start to pick up toward evening in anticipation of that snow breaking on out. This is 7 o'clock in the evening. It'll start at the lakeshore right around 8 or 9 o'clock, get to Grand Rapids by about 10 or 11, and quickly overspread the region. It'll be snow all night long, rating about the rate of about a half an inch per hour, and still snowing for your morning commute. It's going to be a little tough to get around on, uh, on Friday morning. And maybe for your lunch hour, but this is by noon. Most of the heavier snow has moved to the east. All of the snow ends about 3 to 4 p.m. And Friday evening, we actually see a little bit of clearing. So during the day tomorrow, no snow falling across the region. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Watch as the snow just quickly piles up. Uh, models indicating anywhere from 3 inches north to as much as 5 plus off to the south. And there might be another inch or two in the morning on Friday before it all comes to an end. So this is going to be a plowable snow for just about everyone. Some of it will melt and compact, so this may not be what you end up with on the ground, but this is what will be falling all the way into Friday evening. Forecast for tomorrow, though, at the moment, no winter alerts for West Michigan. That may be updated later tonight or tomorrow. Low and mid 40s, just cloudy skies during the daylight hours. Up north, northern part of our viewing area, we'll see temperatures around 40 to 42. Sun goes down at 640 tomorrow, and it will snow after that. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, low and mid 40s for your highs tomorrow under cloudy skies. 13 on your side forecast. 
We've highlighted that Friday with an impact day, especially for morning and midday. Cold over the weekend, average high is 41, will barely get above freezing. So all the snow that falls on Thursday night and Friday going to probably stick around into much of next week. Highs next week below average just into the mid 30s starting on Sunday all the way through next Wednesday, but it will be dry on some sunshine returns then for Tuesday all the way through the following Saturday, including St. Patrick's Day, which right now looks sunny and dry. All oh, that sunshine looks yeah. so good. Looking yeah. great. <laughs> Thanks, George.